Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the recent integration of the new Bing chat into the sidebar and side panel of the desktop version of Microsoft Edge, as many of you may know who do view this channel, has caused a bit of controversy and debate over the last couple of months, especially when Microsoft introduced the new Bing chat discover button to the top right of the toolbar. Now, like it or hate it, um, having these productivity tools um, in the sidebar does come with its added benefits and um, because um, it does make these tools, including the new Bing Chat, easily accessible, um, especially if you do use these tools on a regular day-to-day -day basis. Now, one of the added benefits that having the new Bing Chat in the sidebar does bring to the desktop version of Microsoft Edge is being able to summarize the content of any web page that you are currently browsing. And um, as an example, this, this may be of added benefit um, if you are maybe um, studying a certain topic or doing some research where you can easily um, summarize and bullet point an article um, just as a simple example. Now to do this, it's actually quite simple. And if you'd like to um, summarize web pages uh, using Bing Chat in Microsoft Edge for Desktop, first of all, you need to make sure that the page context uh, for Bing Chat is enabled uh, in the settings of Microsoft Edge for Desktop. So to do this, we just head to the sidebar and at the bottom you click on the settings, which is the gear icon, uh, which will take you directly over to customize, uh, customize sidebar, the preferences page in the settings and you just look for discover, click on that and make sure page context is toggled on and the description says app can access page content to deliver context based experiences. Now as far as I do know, this is turned on and toggled on by default in the browser. But just to avoid any issues, just double check that it is turned on before you want to summarize any given article. Now to summarize an article, I'm just going to use the featured article of the day in Wikipedia. So just to head to that quickly. And believe, believe it or not, we're going to summarize an article on bacteria. Now to summarize this article, I'm going to head back to the side uh, panel. And I'm going to ask um, uh, the chatbot. I'm going to ask it this question. Summarize this article for me into a list of bullet points. And then I'm going to click on the response and it's going to take a couple of seconds to start responding. And then we should start seeing a nice summarized article with the relevant bullet points. And there you go. And I think this is a nice handy addition, especially if you are doing research on different articles. And um, it just condenses everything into a nice, neat summary of that article for research purposes as another example. And just take note though that you might encounter a couple of bugs. Um, when I was testing this uh, before posting this video, uh, it did fail to give me, um, basically crashed and failed to give me any response. So just take note of that. But um, the new Bing chat is in preview, so we can expect a couple of bugs. But just as mentioned, a quick video just to show you how you can summarize web pages with the Bing chat using Microsoft Edge. And as you can see, that just pops everything into a neatly condensed article. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.